Hey everybody here, welcome back. This is episode 14 and is the final episode in Saving Luton Town. Before we get into the video, can I ask you if you are not yet subscribed to my channel but you are watching this and enjoying it, can you please do that? It does mean a lot to me. FM24 is just around the corner and uh, yeah, trying to get all those subscriptions just before that comes in. Hit like on the video, that pushes it out to more people as well. And let me know, are you getting FM24? Because I definitely am. Uh, yes, this is the final episode and... Uh, we sit sixth at the moment in the league. As you can see, we have qualified for Europa League football, but a good performance today against Everton with some results going our way. And uh, we could get Champions League football, which is absolutely ridiculous. So we had our last three games here, which uh, you didn't see. We played West Ham and we absolutely got um, our asses handed to us. 4-0, Danny Ings penalty. Uh, Danny Ings hat trick, sorry. Uh, it, was, uh, it was just ridiculous. Lewis Jr. was terrible. Everyone was crap. It was just a really, really bad away day. Uh, we then followed that up with a 3 0 win over Leeds United. Uh, Heze with a double and Skov Olsen with a penalty as well. Really put uh, my beloved Leeds to the sword. But I think they're okay. I don't think they're getting relegated. Uh, we then a 3-1 win over Brentford. I was super duper happy with this. Despite Ivan Tony scoring in the sixth minute, we then blitzed them with, uh, with three goals, excuse me, in about 20 minutes in a good deserved win there. And that... That win there uh, actually qualified us for... Oh, Leeds could get relegated if Leicester win. Oh, God, crap. They're playing Fulham, who are Leeds playing Manchester City. Oh, God, Leeds are going down. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've qualified for uh, European football. Liverpool can't catch us in seventh, uh, which is excellent news. Spurs could jump up into there, but we'll see about that. But the main ones we are looking at is, if I can find them, is obviously Manchester United. Um, Southampton could finish second, which is just crazy. So Newcastle, Chelsea, and Man United are playing Southampton. So that's a huge one there. Uh, and then in the other games, we've got Manchester United and Arsenal. So that's pretty tough. And then Newcastle are playing Liverpool. So some pretty tough games there, whereas we play Everton, who are safe from a relegation. So hoo -hoo, we possibly have the easiest fixture out of all of those teams. And, I mean, the, I like, I'd, I'd love Arsenal to win here. I'd love Southampton to win here. And I'd love Liverpool to win here. If that happens, we will go to 68 points and we will actually finish third in the league, which is just crazy. And we will have a top three of Manchester City, Southampton and Luton, which is just insane. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get into the final game of the season, the final game of the series, and then we'll wrap up all the uh, all the shenanigans uh, and all that kind of stuff. Now, uh, Buddy Shilly has not been playing well over the last couple of um, uh, couple of games, so I am quite loath to put him in. But the thing is that Anderson and uh, Grimmel do not play very well together, so I, I'm thinking that we are going to drop old uh, Mads Anderson here for um, for Buddy Shile there and. Uh, <laughs> And we're going to play at a bio up front because, gods, I need this man to score a goal. I really, really do. And if it doesn't look like he's, it's going to happen, we'll get him off. And we will, uh, we've will. we got Skov Olsen and Adele, who's been in pretty good form recently. Players to miss out, Fernandez, Gagladini, Camilo, Rojas, Costa, and Gia. To be honest, I would probably be moving on. Uh, Gagladini or Rojas definitely uh, at the end of uh, this season if I was playing on. But other than that, we look pretty good. Lewis Jr., Aaron Spatially, Grimmel, Portillo, Campbell, Jose, Romero, Tell, Chong, and Adebayo. Please score a goal, mate. Please, please, please. Disappointing we couldn't finish this with a... Um, with a uh, an FA Cup final, that would have been that would have been really really good. I would have liked that. Um, we have qualified for Europe, which is fantastic. The board have given us forty million, I think, for next season. Uh, I don't think that is going to change, but I mean, Champions League football would change that significantly if we could get. Um, if we could get Champions League football, we're going to encourage the boys. We're going to leave the table on there and see how it goes. Goal difference of seven. 
we could finish third, which is just absolutely crazy. Absolutely great. I've got to press play. I've got to press play. Otherwise, we'll sit here essentially forever for the pause game. It is Portilla now, Grimmel now, down to Luca Romero, back to the central defender, as obviously it's raining. It is Heze now on the edge of the box, cuts it back to Portillo, but I think it got a little nudge there from Godfrey, and the pass didn't quite have the power. But Max Ahrens wins that. John Tell goal. Matthias Tell, 12th goal of the season. What a player he is. What a fantastic player. Oh, amazing stuff. I, I may, depending on time, do a five years in the future. I've already secured uh, Luca Romero for another season, so I might just activate Matthias Tell's 30 million uh, optional fee there to buy him uh, and set Lut Luton Town up significantly uh, for years to come. Chong loses the ball there to tag it, I think it was, but it is Max Ahrens has recovered and out to Portillo on the left. It was all the way back to Grimmel. I think I'm saying Grimmel's name wrong. It's like Grimmel. I don't know. Tell on the edge of the box. Aaron's now cutting in. It's bobbled up. And a bio, where were you? His nerves. It's, it's just shot. He's, he actually, to be fair, would be someone else that we would probably, if I was carrying this on, uh, we would definitely be cashing in on him. I think at the... Uh, the end of the uh, the season. Having a look now, we have bumped up into fourth spot. That is all oh, Champions League football. Luton Town with Champions League football. Luca Romero clears pretty much off the line there as uh, Matthias Tell heads forward to that goal shy man, Elijah Adebayo, who was so good for us last year. Had 13 goals this year. Uh, and I was like, oh, the way he's going, he is absolutely going to break another 20 goal um, a season for us. And then he's just like he end of January, uh, the Manchester city game. We, we said it was that game and he has just, he has not scored since the end of January, February, March, April, three and a bit months. We're at now without a goal in competitive football is just, I mean, that is a poor run of form for a striker. We're holding the ball nicely here. Campbell, Chong, great ball. Tell, it's a decent pass from Adebayo. He just couldn't put the finish on it. But Luton looking really, really strong as Pickford goes along trying to pick out. Oh, Calvert-Lewin. And there is Calvert-Lewin. Oh, he went for the little dink and Portillo was there to get the ball away. Aaron's now finds that man. Matthias Tell, Heze, Luca Romero. So young, but so much skill. And the highlight ends. We still sit in fourth spot at the moment, which is good, good news. I'm assuming it's Southampton. Oh, we've just been bundled out. We've just been bundled out. I'm going to go actually to latest scores. We're going to just check that. So Manchester United over Arsenal. That's one that we don't want. There. Newcastle and Liverpool are drawing. Southampton are beating Chelsea. We'll go back to the table because that's a bit more interesting. Leeds still beating off, starving off relegation at the moment. All we've got to do is win. Some of the results are out of our hands. We cannot help that, but we just need to win. That's all we need to do is win. Win, 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 win. If we win, then we, we know that we just gave our absolute best shot. And unfortunately, it just it just wasn't to be at this point in time. But Pats and Dakar has just equalized for Everton. Um, right, it is halftime. It is one all. Really, really gutting that Everton scored at halftime. I'm going to point the finger... Um, we can still win this. We're going to keep working hard until we do at a buyer. I just, I know I probably shouldn't have started him, but just, I just, I just want him to score a goal. I just want him to score a goal. Imagine if he scored the winning goal in this game. That would be, that would be something special. But Ashile now is all dispossessed by Pats and Dakar, but he recovers nicely and gets the ball out to Heze who goes down the wing to find Luca Romero. Cuts inside to Adebayo, but he can't get there. But Luca Romero just goes, no, nah, I'll just do it myself, eh? Great stuff. Strong. 2-1. Get in. The referee's got his finger in his ear. We don't need to check that. Chong's not offside. Never. Get in. That's what I'm talking about. Here's Adebayo. So, Luca, I'll give you a hand. Luca's like, don't worry about it. I'll just do it myself. I'll just do it myself. You just stand up there and look. 
look pretty chong boom back of the net good does that get us back in the champions league football i don't know because there's another highlight before we can see the table updating pats and daka now matthias tell has a whole gate call that on a yellow sliding in like that is risky risky for mason holgate max aaron's on the ball now back to batty shilay i would like to get batty shilay i reckon we see if we can get oh, i'm not playing next season i don't know what i'm, I'm like see if we can get him next season on loan again doesn't matter i'm not here here's a holgate picking up the loose ball tarkowski going along pats and daka can't and Daka can't get the ball off that issue. Has he added by you? That's a great ball to Chong. Chong makes it three. Fifi Chong get in. What a sensational player he has been for the club. Eighth goal of the season. I don't know how many assists the man has got, but he is firing us into Champions League glory. And Abayo with the assist there. It is 65 minutes, which does mean I'm going to make a substitution. Um... Jose is not playing great. We will bring Diaz on for him. Uh, Alan Campbell also not having the, uh, the best of games, but we might just leave him on. Uh, we'll bring on Mads Anderson for Grimmel as well. Um, other than that, I think we're probably just going to leave it. Um, there's no real need to take off anyone else at this point. We'll just keep an eye on their hearts. And we'll, we'll probably, we'll bring on Olsen and Adele probably at some point. Um, Portillo, as you can see, there is tiring, as is Matthias Tell. Adele, not Tell, that's confusing. Adele and Tell. Uh, Cone coming on for Portillo, who's tiring. Tell and Sean. Uh, we will bring on Olsen for Tell. And one more substitution. It is going to be... Um, dum, 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 dum. Alan Campbell's not playing great. We're going to bring on uh, Adama Nagala for him. There we are. Five substitutions. Point the finger. Go and do something fantastic. I think we've done enough. I think we are going to secure a Champions League football. Chelsea are going to finish second. But if you have a look at this, we are one point behind second in crazy craziness of a season where we have only drawn two games. We've drawn two games all season. It's ridiculous. But Man City have been the dominant team, but we are up and around that team. And this is it. There it is. Done and dusted. 3-1 winners over Everton. Pats and Daka had us a little bit worried there for a second, but uh, Chong showed his class with a double and a man of the match performance. Well done, boys. Champions League football is coming to, I was going to say coming to Kenilworth Road, but actually moving stadiums. And uh, and we're not going to be here. Leeds survive. Leicester go down. Oh, they drew with Fulham. Uh, Leeds lost as well. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Leicester, they go down. Newcastle, Manchester United, all miss, and Liverpool all miss out on Champions League, but Luton Town secure it. Get in. What an absolutely incredible season that has been. From the point in time where we were thinking that, or we, I say we, where I was thinking that, come on, that we were, look at this, the bottom of the flipping table, bottom of the table in week nine, in game week nine, like absolutely horror run of results here, but then we just dum, 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 pulled our way up into fourth. Southampton has been pretty amazing as well. Like, absolutely crazy. Luton Town qualified for the Champions League. 50 million from the board and 1.5 million in wages, which is pretty... Oh, no, we're only spending two and a half, so we've got a fair bit of money there, but I think a lot of it would would really go on Matthias Tell. Bournemouth sacked their manager. Strong was amazing. Two goals and an assist. Surely it's a call-up for the Netherlands. Surely. This guy has been absolutely incredible. Look at this. Eight goals, eight assists in this year, and uh, two assists in cup competitions. This season, seven goals and ten assists, and one goal in cup competitions. Absolutely fantastic stuff from Chong. We get 32 million. Leicester go down. Bonus is paid out. Kyle prefers Chong to Ilkay Gundogan. Well, yeah, I mean, who knows? 
who knows let's go and click ahead and get a uh, end of season review have a look at those finances 50 million i wonder if i mean it, it doesn't really make any a lick of difference but can we get just just for the oh come on i can pay all the wages maybe i can um but it, if it is a future optional future fee suggest terms no they're not really keen on i mean we'll see we'll just test the waters he does have this optional future fee of 30 million i think we'd have to i think i'll have to i mean it doesn't really make much difference to me uh because i'm not being there but uh let's let's see if he wants to join right not interested in any circumstances brilliant 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 oh, can we try and get him on loan for another season let's just see what uh munich maybe once it all sort of like you know comes out in the wash oh yep yeah, thank you i'll take that on loan for another season we're optional of 30 million get in confirmation it is a record high for Luton in the premier league record high you can see here uh next best highest was seventh in 86 87. check that out 68 points <laughs> two draws yep yep all right we've got a lot to go through here yep we'll do that right oh manager of the year manager of the year check it out wow look at that manager of the year then you have Mikel Arteta, Jurgen Klopp. Wow. Tony Pulis. Let's check that out. We, we could spend a while in here. Come on. End of season review. Right. Here it is. The end of season review. Luton Town. No trophies, unfortunately. But qualifying for the Champions League is just fantastic. Right. Here are the signing. Matthias Oresso gets signing of the season. Yet the board have given him a D. Surely Matthias Tell gets a C minus. Uh, despite the fact that he's alone, why is he coming? Oh, okay, sorry, he's alone. Uh, he played 19 appearances and got 19 goal contributions. That's signing of the season, but maybe he can't be because he um, came in in January. Lewis Jr. gets a D, right? Uh, I think he did pretty good. Yes, he cost us 14 million, but he played 35 games and 6.99. Portilla, an A+. Plus. Mm. Matty Shuley gets C+. Plus. Luke Romero gets an A+. Plus for 11 goal contributions. Uh, Didrik, Derek Cohn gets an A as well. He was pretty decent. Quite injury um, played, but it's good to have him and Portillo rotating on that left-back spot. Augustin G.A. gets a C. Uh, you know, just a squad player. Camillo gets a B+. Plus. Um, I mean, he was okay. Four goals, limited opportunities. Max Ahrens gets a B minus. He costs a lot of money, Max Ahrens, but, you know, he'll only get better. Scott Olsen, uh, 21 million. Wasn't great at the beginning of the season, but uh, not too bad here. Adil obviously couldn't get that work permit at the beginning of the season, um, which, you know, sort of hampered him, but hopefully next season he'll be coming off, coming on strong. Uh, Grimmel got an A plus, and he didn't get something this season. Uh, for uh, pretty pretty decent, and Rajakovi gets an A minus, but he's probably unhappy, and I don't know what we're going. I mean, I keep saying I don't know what we're going to do next year, but there is no next year. I'm not here next year. Um, signings out. Anyone really? I mean, okay, yeah, interesting. Anyone here that really stood out? I've done a couple of D's there, but I mean, come on. What are you expecting? I can't really. Yeah, anyway, whatever. I don't know what I'm bothering with that. Uh, the board gives us an A plus for the league. We finished fourth. Uh, this is a problem, 13 goals. I mean, to be honest, if I think if he had scored another seven, we we potentially push uh, Man City all the way. FA Cup, we get a B because we got to the semi final. And the Carabao Cup, we get a C plus because we third round against Arsenal. Uh, right out. Okay. Uh, interesting. The Ties tell five goals in the FA Cup. Yeah, that was a bit of a. Below 4 1 was our biggest win over Chelsea. Ah, that was a cracking game. That match, remember, 2 1 over Southampton and all the season. Fernandez, yeah, that was a fantastic free kick. 
Uh, club rep stays the same, and sponsorship is up, as broadcast revenue is down. Prophecy Champions League all the way through the roof. Shirt sales, Chong, Adele, Scovolson, Diaz, and Adebayo. How we lined up here, it is Lewis Jr., Max Aarons, Max, Mads Anderson, sorry, Grimmel, Cotillo, Campbell, Heze, Tell, Chong, Scovolson, and Adebayo. Bio up front despite only scoring 13 goals. Manager of the year I get. Chong gets fans player of the season. Tell young player. Signing Matthias Areza. I still don't understand that. Um, we know all about those competition awards. Yeah, that's me. Uh, most assists, 10 for Chong. Clean sheets, 12 for Lewis Jr. And Bio gets six men of the matches. Alan Campbell gets 16 yellow cards. And we paid a lot of money for Max Evans and Charlie Aquega, our youngest goal scorer at 16 years old and 357 days. Excellent from us. Dynamic timeline. I hope they fix this up in FM24. I just I feel it could be done good. But is this my dynamic timeline? Mm, okay, anyway, whatever. We're done. Boom, finish. Here it is, the uh, Luton Best 11. Got Lewis Jr. I mean, it's pretty much, there's not many other people in there. That is it. That is the end of the Luton Town save. I am going to try and do five years in the future. Uh, hopefully I can get that out and I should be able to really. Uh, I'm a little bit in advance of FM24 coming out, but yeah, this... This is it. This is the end of FM23. By the time I turn this game or I mean, by the time I simulate for five years and then turn this game off, that's probably the last time it's going to be played, and that's going to be with Luton Town finishing fourth in Premier League, only drawing two games. Wow. Just think, I mean, if we'd, you know, four more there, we go to 72 points and we finished runners-up, which is just absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Well, guys... I hope you've enjoyed that, um, that series. Just, you know, two seasons, nice, short, sharp there. Just spread out over a little bit of time uh, while we've got, uh, while waiting for FM24. Like I said, that is just around the corner. Uh, well, the beta, sorry, is just around the corner, I should say. If you've pre-ordered, uh, you'll get that. I will be starting up a save uh, in that. I'm still undecided. I'm tossing up a few. Um, it won't be Leeds, unfortunately, because they're in the championship. I know, sad, sad times. It will be a Premier League team. I'm probably hitting for one of the big teams, um, and we will uh, we'll go from there. But I can tell you as well, then, when the game drops proper, oh, it's exciting. It's exciting what I've got installed there. So if you have enjoyed this and you are looking for football manager-type sort of playthrough story type things, and you're not subscribed, if you could, it would mean a lot to me. Smash the like button. And the next time I see you guys will be five years in the future slash FM24. I'll see you later. Bye.